all day events. All day events and events that span over multiple days are referred to as all day events. And there are several ways you can create an all day event. First, let's take a look at week view. The space at the top of your bar is where your all day events will take place. And we'll create those and then show you how they appear on that calendar. You can simply click on a date to create a new event. By default in month view, when you select a date, it creates an all day event. So let's create a conference on November 26th through the 29th. When I select the date, I can put in CMC conference and click on create event. That creates an all day event. If I go to week view and I go to that week, you can see my CMC conference is listed at the top. This area is reserved for events that have no designated start or end time, but simply all day events. If you look at holidays, you can see that, let's go to a week that has holidays. Oops. You can see that Christmas Day and Boxing Day here is listed as an all day event. If I go to week view, and I go to the week of December 25th, you can see that Christmas Day and Boxing Day appear at the top. So that's how you see, create, and view an all-day event. Let's go ahead and create a multi-day all-day event. So let's say I want to also be on vacation the week of Christmas. So I'm going to put myself out of the office the 24th through the 28th. I'm going to click and drag across the span of that area at the top of week view and put holiday vacation and click on create event. I now have a holiday vacation scheduled the same week and if I look at my month, month view you can see I have a, a multi-day holiday vacation scheduled here. You can also create multi-day events using quick add. So let's say I need to create a conference for the 5th and 6th of December. I simply click on Quick Add and I put uh, Paris Conference 12-6 through 12-7 and click on Add and you can see that multi-day event appears here. So again, all day events have no start or end time and you can create multi-day, all-day events. Another way you can create an all-day event is to simply click on Create. So if I know that on January 25th, there's a teacher work day, I can simply edit, find the date, the 25th, and I can click on All-day event, thus making this an all-day event. I click on Save. And if I go to the month of January, you'll see that on January 25th, an all-day event has been created called Teacher Work Day. So take a moment now to create an all-day event for yourself, maybe a multi-day event, and put that in your calendar.